Good afternoon, everyone. I want to thank you for joining us today. We're excited about our second in our Wednesday webinar series. Today, we're going to be talking about hazardous areas. And I'm really glad that you were able to take the time to, to join us. We have a combination of integrators and distributors and, and uh, manufacturers reps with us today. And we hope that this provides some valuable information for you as you're going out working on special projects in the hazardous market. I am joined today by my colleague, Mike Bedard. Mike provides our technical support for video tech here at our Plattsburgh office in upstate New York. My name is Maureen Carlo, and I handle outside sales and business development at Video Tech. Mike, say hi. Hi. Um, so just a, a, an overview of our agenda today. We're going to be discussing what's happening in the hazardous market. We're going to talk about our explosion-proof products as well as our rugged and stainless steel products. And we will dig into classes and divisions and zones for everyone who um, has questions about that. And then we'll talk about some deployments. And uh, the deployments are not just in the US, but they're globally. So we want to give some focus to those. And then we'll have some time for questions and answers at the end. Uh, we want to make this as interactive as possible. So you don't just have to listen to our voices the whole time. So if you have some questions during the presentation, please feel free to ask. And we'll try to address them as we go. But I'm going to let Mike chat with you right now about how to ask the questions if it's speed. So during the meeting, at any time, if you have questions about anything while Maureen is going through the presentation, you can just type it in the chat portion of the webinar. As you see, uh, please make sure that you uh, make sure you send to everyone so that way it's viewable. And uh, I will answer the questions live while she is giving the presentation. Uh, anything else that requires a more interactive, um, you know. Uh, questions we can do at the end of the presentation. Uh, any reference material that you may need will, can be provided to you by email after the presentation is complete. All right. So today I think we're going to try to get this um, get this started right now and get you out of here in about 30 minutes. So I'm going to take it away. Um, focusing on the hazardous market. Let's let's kick in with the energy industry. It's a very fast growing market, and there are many investors focusing in this area. The global market for video in electrical utilities and in oil refineries is forecast to top about $160 million in 2014. Through 2017, they're predicting over 200 oil refineries are planned for construction globally. Threats on oil refineries and chemical plants are growing. Um, these industries re require very specific video surveillance equipment to withstand their environment and to eliminate explosive risks at the same time. Video Tech does offer a wide array of explosion proof products that go through rigorous testing and international certifications to meet the requirements for installations in environments with explosive risk. We are the best global partner in supplying approved video surveillance products for this market, and we are proud that our products are deployed in thousands of prestigious security projects worldwide related to offshore, onshore, and marine installations. Equipment used in hazardous areas needs to be designed, to be built, and to be tested to ensure that it will not provide a source of ignition from flammable or explosive gases, dusts, or vapors. Our explosion-proof IP PPV cameras provide high-resolution images and dynamic remote positioning. When located strategically, they provide seamless operational and maximum situational awareness during day and during night. Our Optical and uh, dual core thermal cameras can detect intruders with zero visibility at night or through fog and smoke. All of our explosion proof equipment is weatherproof to withstand the harshest environment and marine corrosion. I'm going to get into some of these products as, as we go, but first I just want to discuss some of our, our niche products uh, for hazardous applications um, onshore and offshore. We design these really to, to operate at their maximum in the harshest conditions. They're manufactured in-house um, at our facility in Pio in northern Italy, and they're, they're made using the best quality components and corrosion-resistant and heavy-duty materials. We offer complete lines with specific features to respond to any requirement in any condition you're looking for. I'm going to talk about next our Maximus line, 
uh, sorry, I'm just a slide beyond here. Um, getting into getting into the market, we are going to be focusing a lot on explosion proof in here, and some of that has to do with oil and gas. Some of that has to do with the food industry, with with petrochem, with military um, industries. There's a lot going on, but our, our focus today is going to be a little bit more centric on uh, on the oil and gas market. Okay, scoot on here. So talking about our maximus range. Um, this line is built for those hazardous areas with the risk of explosion from gas or dust. The line that we have in front of you here is stainless steel construction. It's passivated and electro-polished uh, for rust and cor corrosion resistance. All welded joints are individually tested and verified. The front window in the, uh, in the housings and the cameras are made of tempered glass. They're processed by controlled thermal and chemical treatment to increase strength and resistance to physical and thermal stress. The design of this line ensures full compliance with the strictest environmental conditions and standards for classified environments. Mike's gonna talk about some of the uh, specifications of these cameras regarding the certification that you see listed at the bottom of the page. Uh, the line does feature housing, uh, features integrated cameras, IP versions, and also thermal versions are available. Again, as I talk about uh, these products down throughout other slides, I'll focus into some of their features specifically when I discuss the deployments that we have with them. So uh, before we introduce the Maximus stainless steel line, we introduced our EX series, which is very well known in the market for its strong construction and use in conditions of extreme stress. This range also includes camera housing, which allow you to choose your own camera and lens combination, and pan and tilt units with telemetry receiver. The pan and tilt units are characterized by the absence of exposed cables in rotation for the pan and tilt and also for the camera and lens. Thanks. A clean picture is assured from the transparent mylar film in front of the glass, protecting the window from dust and dirt. The EX series is made of non-corrosive, anti-corrodal aluminum alloy. The special coating for low temps is resistant to stress cracking, to adverse weather conditions, detergent, salt, and typical airborne pollutants. Now, we're going to get into the explosion-proof terminology and requirements. So, Mike, you want to take it from here? Sure. Uh, so, what you see on the screen here are class one area classifications for gas, and you have division versus zone. UL uh, now has uh, different categories for classifications. The Division I, Division II was initially created for North American applications. Uh, but since uh, UL is international as well, they came up with a new standard uh, that follows the same guidelines as international as the uh, ICEX scheme and the ATEX, uh, which is why you see the zones 0, 1, and 2 now. Now, there is a direct classification comparison chart available on the UL website. Uh, I also carry a copy here that I can send it by request. Um, a lot of the times when, if you're a distributor, you have a customer or a system integrated contact and say, hey, listen, I need uh, class one, division one housing. The, the old saying goes, you don't know what you don't know. Typically speaking, if somebody wants the highest classification housing, they want class one, division one not really understanding why they need that. Uh, when those type of applications come up, uh, really the best thing to do is to reach out to us here, contact us, and, and speak to you or, or the end user system area, and we can work out the details of that. Uh, but if, as you're looking on this uh, slide right here, you can see that all it is is uh, the terminology of the way that the zones and the divisions are listed out. Uh, it's, it's very specific. On the UL website, it actually shows Division 1 being comparable to Zone 1 and 2 as a direct uh, comparison. So uh, with that, if you have any other questions, uh, I, can, uh, I can send you some documentation. With that, I'll turn it over. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, I know this, uh, the division and the class and the zones, it can definitely get confusing. So we're here to help you as you have questions on that. We have experts working out of our facility in Italy that are um, you know, definitely gurus in, in the industry, and we have lots of access, a lot of support as, as you need it. 
So I'm going to move on to some, some more products. Um, getting into our marine range. I don't want to spend too much time on this because our next webinar at the end of this month on the 30th of July is going to focus on the marine industry, but a lot of what's going on with the explosion-proof world does involve onshore and offshore situations. It uh, doesn't mean those situations always require explosion-proof devices. They might really need something that's very corrosive-resistant, but definitely not um, focusing strictly on explosion-proof. In these verticals, security and safety are very serious issues. Surveillance from video tech plays a fundamental role in the scenarios to guarantee that operations continue to protect lives and property when onshore and offshore. Our marine stainless steel line is impervious to air and water rusting and corrosion, as is the uh, the explosion-proof Maximus line. But again, this is uh, you're going to see a substantial price difference between this and the explosion-proof, and it doesn't require those special certifications. But it's a very solid, very quality line. Um, our models again come in housing for fixed and thermal cameras. We have cameras that are uh, 36 times and 28 times day-night cameras. We offer, as, as you see in the image here, um, a PTZ unit as well as a dual core unit providing both optical and thermal vision. And we also have liquid cooled housing, which you see on the bottom right side of the page. So when you have those hot and harsh environments that require adequate equipment, the liquid cool housing is designed to protect the cameras in, in these very severe applications, in extreme heat applications, such as something you'll find in, um, in ovens or in boundaries. So at the very front of the camera, the front flange, this is engineered with an air barrier. This is helpful for cooling down the housing and for keeping the front window clean. Using water or other cooling liquids uh, to circulate uh, throughout the housing, this keeps the camera temperature controlled while the outside temperature of the housing depending upon whether you're using tempered, infrared, or quartz glass, can reach 554 up to 752 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, definitely learn more about these if you join our webinar at the end of July, and we have a, a lot more to talk about on, on the marine line. You will see quite a bit of that line there um, mixed in with, with this industry, with this hazardous area. So again, uh, explosion proof isn't always necessary, as I mentioned. We do have some very rugged housings, when you don't need stainless steel, when you're not worried about as corrosive an environment. So our, uh, our very popular, very um, very reliable Ulysses range of cameras, they integrate uh, PTZ cameras. We have our new Ulysses Compact um, ruggedized outdoor PTZ that has full HD camera built in. And we also have our uh, the other Ulysses that you'll see on uh, to the right of that that allow you to provide your own camera lens combination that can really maximize visibility in, a, in larger perimeter uh, coverage areas. Um, this, this range is used very widely in critical tasks when non-hazardous uh, areas, um, not non-hazardous equipment is, is required. These units offer proven reliability that withstands very harsh environments and conditions. They do handle extreme cold and hot temperatures, and they also withstand uh, strong depthy winds and sandy winds. Uh, to the bottom right of the page, you'll see our camera housing. Um, again, if something is not required to be explosion proof, if you have a camera and a lens combination you're looking for and you're just looking for a housing to protect the cameras in a harsh outdoor condition but in a safe area, these housings are IP66 and IP67 weatherproof rated for rain and dust. We do have um, a few new models that are high PoE. There are intelligent power management housing. They require just one cable to connect the video data and power to the housing. They really simplify installation and they reduce costs greatly. Installers are a big fan of these. So I want to move now into some of our deployments. Um, what you see here is an area in, uh, in the Mediterranean. This solution is using our Maximus uh, line, the MX. PTZ. Uh, this solution was a collaboration between a multinational oil and gas company. What they wanted to do was develop a system that would ensure early detection of hydrocarbon leaks on offshore platforms and on onshore plants as well um, in detecting leaks and also in providing increased security levels for all of the infrastructure for this energy company. 
our Maximus MXP PTZs and our dual core MPXTs, again, that's the dual core with the optical and the thermal camera built in, were chosen for this deployment because of their sturdy stainless steel construction, because they're capable of withstanding very corrosive and aggressive atmospheric conditions, and because they require very little maintenance. Um, I did not add any video clips to this presentation, but I actually do have a clip of the MXPTZ in motion. If you're looking for a video that you can show your customers, we have that on YouTube, or please shoot me an email, and I can send you a direct link to the video, along with lots of other clips for our product. Um, another reason this unit was chosen for this application is because it is very fast and smooth rotation. As you'll see on the optical side of the camera, it has an integrated wiper. Um, there's also a washer tank option available for this. That was very desirable in this location to keep the lens clean at all times. Um, the thermal addition to this application was really based on monitoring, being able to monitor in total darkness through fog and rain, through heavy smoke, and through fire detection as well. Okay, next application. Again, this is an oil and gas uh, focus. Here, um, this is in Russia. This is one of four major oil refineries in Russia. At this uh, location, they produce a range of fuels and lubricants. Uh, they produce jet oil and fuel oil. And they have been planning an expansion. They're undergoing this expansion uh, with upgrades to increase their production capacity. And while doing this, um, due to some uh, recent tightened uh, fuel specifications by the Russian government, they really had to change the focus on their security system. So, in modernizing their program, which is uh, it's ongoing, it's scheduled for completion later in 2016, this includes upgrading their video surveillance equipment to IP infrastructure. And their first step is actually going to be deploying 24 of our Maximus units, uh, the PTZ units, and they're going to be monitoring different areas of the plant with this, with plans for expanding up to 120 units um, within the next three years. So, let's see, moving forward, um, I'm going to show you a, an example that is for non-explosion equipment, but also in a, in a very hazardous area. Um, in Romania, we have a nuclear plant. And they were requiring some very heavy-duty coverage, but the explosion proof wasn't, wasn't a necessity at this point. So their solution combined a few of our cameras, again, getting into the dual core so they can have um, optical and thermal detection at, you know, at all hours of the day for verification and, and detection with a the thermal camera. Um, they chose a combination of our Ulysses Compact rugged PTZ, again, that's the integrated PTZ unit, and then the dual core um, from the Ulysse line. The cameras that they're, that they're using offer, the dual core thermal camera offers independent uh, dual video output. The thermal option of the camera can be chosen with a 25 or a 35 millimeter lens, and it has resolution options of 320 by 256 or 640 by 512. So while we have several options, these options, they'll actually come with many flavors each as we dig down deeper in, into the specific line. Um, okay, back into uh, explosion proof. In the pharmaceutical industry, we have lots of deployments worldwide. Um, this is showing you right now uh, a customer, Bayer, who is operating um, factories in Germany and India. We also have a chemical factory in Taiwan using the same solution. Uh, they chose this camera because of its accurate positioning, because of its integrated wiper, its continuous horizontal rotation, and its capabilities of seeing 90 degrees above the horizon and below the horizon. Um, the extremely easy electrical connections were very, very favorable in moving forward with this solution, and the video output options with Andres protocol really helped seal the deal as well. Okay, I have another oil refinery application for you here. Um, in Spain, CESPA is a uh, an 11,000 person energy company 
They operate at every stage of, of the value chain in the oil industry. And in this particular situation, at a refinery, they chose our Maximus PTZ again to protect this refinery um, because they like the 350 degree surveillance that includes auto pan, preset, patrol, and tour options. They found that the ease of installation, the limited maintenance required, and the cost were the greatest value for them in choosing this solution. So we have for you a couple of applications that we showed that are um, that are global. We do have some applications that are right here in the U.S., but I didn't have any case studies on those put together for for this particular presentation. Um, but we do have some uh, some references here that will show you what some of our offshore marine and onshore um, solutions are and, and where they are deployed. And I'd love to dig into these a little bit deeper if you have some specific questions. We do have a great customer right here in the States, Brent Franklin, who's the president of UTI, who is using our explosion-proof devices, the EX uh, range, and he's using these in substations. He's very, very focused on the critical infrastructure market, and he's very eager to talk to people who have questions about why choosing video tech or why his customers went with our solutions and what kind of feedback his customers have after having these solutions deployed right in the U.S. market. So if you're looking for a local reference, we have that that we can offer you. And um, we have somebody who's very eager to share his story. So, so please let me know and I can get you in contact with the local U.S. reference. And what I'd like to do now is open this up to questions. If anybody has any, uh, I'm actually, I'm going to go back one, one more launch, one more slide here. If anybody has any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, Mike, is there anything you'd like to add at this point? Uh, as far as the <clears throat> uh, marine stuff goes, there's uh, a lot of applications uh, in the industry. Uh, U.S. Steel, for instance, um, has some of our liquid cooled housings, which uh, you know, and FLIR actually <laughs> have had plenty of installations uh, with with that housing. Uh, it can be air or liquid cooled as well, depending on the temperature range that you have it installed in. Uh, we have several applications in the food industry, uh, but like Maureen said, there'll be more on that in the next presentation. Uh, we do have a question coming in regarding the thermal core. Um, yes, our thermal camera that we use is a FLIR camera. Um, thanks, thanks for the question, Mike. When we're talking about our Ulysses Compact, the camera that we use in our device, it, the cameras are the one thing that we don't build in-house. Uh, we use a Sony camera, a Sony block for our Ulysses model. And uh, the thermal models are, are FLIR. So thanks, Mike, for getting the answer up on that. Um, we also had a camera, uh, I'm sorry, a question coming in regarding warranties. Our units do have a 36 month warranty on all moving parts. So that's our explosion proof line, and that's also our Ulysses line. Um, because we don't manufacture the cameras, I just said, the cameras have independent. Uh, warranties from their manufacturers. So with the Sony cameras, they'll offer an 18-month warranty, and with the thermal cameras from FLIR, we will have a 15-month warranty. Anybody else? I program the course, it would be important for us. Okay, Mike, you know what, we, and we can, um, let's see, sorry, I'm just reading this, 2.4 or 2.7. Um, we programmed the course, so it would be very important for us. Mike McKay, we will follow up with you directly on this question. I want to make sure that we get the correct answer for you, and, uh, and we'll get back to you directly. So, my goal was to get you out of here by 2.30. I would like to uh, thank you all for joining us today. I hope that we provided you with some valuable information in this line and showing you some solutions or getting you thinking about some solutions that we have worked on uh, globally to let you know the, uh, the the depth of our involvement in this industry. And we want to be able to help you as you're working on your special projects in harsh environments and you've got questions or concerns or you need some help or you need a, a try me program and you want to demo something for one of your customers, we're very willing to work with you. And we just need you to let us know what, what you're working on so we can help out as, as effectively as possible. 
So as you see here, I have my contact information. I have Mike's contact information. Um, we've got some links to, to uh, social media. We have a lot of great videos on YouTube that show these products in action, some that are showing these steps and installation of the product. And we want to make sure that you have all the tools that you need to do your job better and offer value to your customers. So however we can help, please let us know. Um, emails will be coming out. If you haven't already signed up for our July 30th webinar on the marine industry or for our webinar, I believe it's the 26th of August, that is the perimeter protection focus. Um, we do have some seats available, but we have lots of people that have signed up for both of those. So please register as soon as you can. We'll make sure that you have your seat. And if you have questions, you know where to find us and keep following us on social media where we'll continue to offer you some valuable information. Until then, have a great afternoon and thanks. Bye-bye.